Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Right. But well, foot time is over. Foot time's got us in the ghetto. Foot time's got us locked up. Foot time's got us disease ridden. Foot time's got us crazy and insane in our brain. Right. The Lord said, who's going to stand up for him? Is that a heavy calling? Is that too much to ask? So what we come to do is tear down strongholds, tear down imagination. We here to give y'all the courage to do what? To do the same. To see sin and report it. Any wrong that you know that's going on, it's time to report it. We see wrong in our community and we are here to report it. We are the mouthpiece of the Most High God. We come out here to bring awareness to our situation. Our situation it's a dire situation. Every man, woman, and child say they want change. Well, let's put that to the test. Let's test to see if anybody is really willing to change. Right. Who's willing, who's willing to change? A lot of people won't change. Why? Because they know they got to give something up in order to get that change. We are here to see who's willing to change for the most high God. Give me the book of Psalms chapter... Uh, 91, 16. How you doing, my brother? My brother, come talk to your brothers real quick. My sister, bring your family over. Come talk to the brother. Listen at this. He's up about time. That's 94. That's 94, that's 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? The Lord put out a call. He said, who's going to stand up for him? It ain't the Christian pastors. We recently did a video with them. Bring it out. We sat down with them in their churches, trying to come to walk consensus on the solutions for our people. And if you look at it in its entirety, not one time did they pick the Bible up. How you doing, my brother? Bring it out. We using the Bible to bring out solutions. We're identifying problems, and the Lord said, if you're willing to stand up for him, He's going to give you the solution. Right. Otherwise, you can continue laying in the squalor that you're in. Bring it out. Being on the bottom. Ask him for a hand out. Asking the Lord, please help me. He said the help is here already. But what are you going to do to bring about the help? A lot of our men and sisters, they don't understand what marriage is. A lot of our men and sisters, all they focused on is a good time. They Bring it out. God requires discipline. Right. Who has discipline in this earth? Who got discipline I eat? Let's read. Read again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who's going to tell the evildoers what they're doing wrong? Everybody always turn a blind eye and say, hey, I ain't, I ain't no snitch. If it's good for them, it's good for me. Let, let them have their fun. Right. But fun time is over. Fun time's got us in the ghetto. Foot times got us locked up. Foot times got us disease ridden. Foot times got us crazy and insane in our brain. Right. The Lord said, who's going to stand up for him? Is that a heavy calling? Is that too much to ask for a person to keep the word of God? Is that too much? My brother, you want to you understand who God is? Who is the Lord? What does the Lord require of us, first and foremost? Let's read it again from the top. Let's see what the Lord requires. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? First and foremost, he got to ask the question. Because don't nobody give a hell no more. We've been lied to for so long, we don't know what the truth is. Right. So the Lord has the question, who can even stand up? That's the question the Lord calls. Read it again so the sister can hear me. Who will rise up for me 
You hear that? Who's going to rise up for the Lord? Nobody's speaking on behalf of the Lord no more. The churches have lost their minds and went crazy and said, who men can marry when that's not what the Lord said. Who's going to rise up and say what the Lord said? That's why we are here today. You got a moment to come grab a flag, come grab a flag. We're building our nation back to their, their previous goal. That's right. Who is our nation? Who are we? We don't know who we are anymore because we disobeyed God for so long. He took that knowledge and wisdom away from us. That's Here right. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to stand up and tell these drug dealers to put the bag down? Stop destroying your people. How come your riches have to come at the expense of your brothers? Right. How come your survival has to be the same methods and tactics that the oppressors use to destroy us? Those same methods and tactics that they used to destroy us got us in front of these establishments, wishing that they were our establishments. Right. We so tore up in the brain, guess how we got to escape, my brother? We got to escape with prostitution. We got to escape with drugs. We got to escape with with alcohol, why is that? Because no one wants to hear the call of the Lord. We all feel we got it figured out. Right. We don't have it figured out. Our land is destroyed. How did our land get destroyed? And why is it not being built? Give me Leviticus 19. 19 and 29. Because I said nobody is standing up for the Lord. The Lord said nobody is standing up for him. Because if it was the case where we were standing up for him and we were righteous, he wouldn't have to ask who's going to stand up. Right. I'm repeating the same thing the Lord said. Who's going to stand up for him? Because I don't see the leaders. I see a bunch of older men not understanding what it, what it takes. I see a lot of young brothers following after their, their lusts. Who's the man standing up? Let's continue to read the Bible until we figure it out. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a hoe. I prophesied to the four winds, to the four corners. The Lord said, do not. You hear that? That's an order. The Lord said, do not prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a hoe. What does that mean? Y'all understand what prostitution is. And, but he said, don't prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a hoe. Meaning, don't allow her the freedom. Don't allow her the liberty to do things that will make her have a whore's mind. A whore's mind is a mind of, I can do what the hell I want, and I don't have to answer to anybody. The Lord said, don't prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a whore. You see another problem? You're okay with her having a whore's mind. Bring it out. You allow her to have a baby in your house? You're okay with her? Having a horse mind. Read it again. Let's see what the Lord said. Read. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a hoe. Why? Let the land fall into whoredom. Not what? Let the land fall into whoredom. We can't prostitute our daughters. What? To cause her to be a. Let the land fall into whoredom. Look around. Look around. Look around. Your leaders. That's your team, leaders. The people that you look up to, they destroyed the neighborhoods. The neighborhoods are destroyed. The thought process, the mentality of our people are destroyed. We seek death and we choose death rather than life. Bring it out. Rather than loving our brothers and sisters, guess what we do? We say the hell with them because don't nobody else value them. I don't value them either. I, I lay with them. But I won't stay with it. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a hoe. Lest the land fall into whoredom. The land has fallen. The west side of Chicago, the south side of the east side, the United States of America has fallen. And what is prevalent? Whoredom is prevalent. Whoredom 
it so bad that a man, they ain't even want to be women. Bring it out. They think the women got it easy. You got men busting it over now. The hell type of crap is that? Because of order, because of lack of discipline. The land has fallen. And men are now doing things strange for change. The Lord warns you. He said for you to stand up for him. What is a nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord!